Hey guys, it's Tran. Today I'm here with a new video for you. I'm super excited for today because I'm going to be doing an Abercrombie haul slash review. I got a comment from one of you the other... I feel like a couple videos ago, I think it was my H&M haul, requesting an Abercrombie haul, like pitching that idea, and I was like... You know what like that's a really good one because i have been like thinking about purchasing clothes from them and i feel like that really took me to the next level of, okay someone actually wants to see that i'm gonna do it the reason that i've been wanting to is because they've expanded their sizes for one but not only that they've also just changed their whole style i feel like back when i was in high school and in middle school i wasn't particularly fond of their clothing it wasn't my style and then again i was also very was very different back then but even now I feel like I wouldn't really go towards like their shirts with like Abercrombie on it you know stitched in in those like letterman type of letters do you know what I mean like letterman jacket type of letters so they've changed they've grown they've adopted that CEO that was kind of a douche has gone but now they've changed their CEO they've changed a lot of things and that is why they've expanded sizing it's a they're trying to be as inclusive as possible which is why I was like you know this seems like this seems good so I went ahead and I purchased some clothes to try on to review to see if it is worth the hype because I've seen so many people talk about it on TikTok and um, YouTube I just want to know if it would fit or if this actually does work for like a mid-sized body because I know that like especially curvy curvier women they get categorized in one specific type of body and that is mostly like that pear shaped or that hourglass figure and i don't really have that hourglass figure i'm kind of like i'm pretty like a kind of rectangular i would say um i have like a little bit of a curve but like my rib cage is definitely wider than the average like hourglass figure i usually don't go for like curvy um styled a lot of the time mostly because again i have that straight figure so sometimes when it's like a curved love or like a curved moment it actually digs into my sides a little but either way i'm excited to try i'm excited to see if it'll work for us let's just give this let's just give this a go measurement purposes i'm about to turn 27 so that's age <laughs> um i am a size well this is gonna be hard because i feel like i should take my measurements i'm gonna like buy a measuring tape you know one of those to really figure that out and list that out for you and it might not be in this video if anything i'll just come back to it um but i will say that i'm usually bottoms more so a size 12 i would say um i could go to a 10 and i do also go to a 14 so it's kind of those top wise i would say i'm usually a 10 maybe i'm a 12. um so that's just how it is but i usually whatever it goes if it's kind of like a letter size i will go for an, a large and everything and that usually fits sometimes it's a little loose and i have to go to medium um but i don't usually go to extra large unless like the place runs small like zara zara is a place that i do that but that's just a little overview um about like my sizing and like how things usually work for my body then again i will also mention that you all probably understand that woman sizes are insane you can be i feel like a range of like four different sizes half the time because everything is like nothing is consistent everything is just all over the place i will let you know how this stuff fits me another thing i wanted to note before we get started i know this is kind of a long intro so i apologize for that but i really do think um especially for my subscribers i want to try a different type of style of video for these and i want to kind of just like try them on in front of you and just talk to you in that space just to i don't know i feel like just so you can get like my raw thoughts and opinions about things instead of kind of just like writing notes down and like coming back to you i just want you guys to get a little bit more of a sense of my personality i think that's gonna be more i don't know i feel like sometimes i don't share everything and i just want to be better about like just sharing a little bit more of who i am and you guys get like an idea of like ah, my mannerisms a little more i know that you guys see that as well like when i'm like sitting down 
but I think that I just want to I want you guys to get to know me a little bit better so I hope you guys enjoy this but let me know let me see if I even like this style um, I might not <laughs> so um, I hope I do though anyways that was an insanely long intro so I apologize for that right now um, I will take the second to say if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe if you end up liking this video and give this video a like so a thumbs up and yeah leave a comment down below but now let's just get into the video um okay so yeah i have i got these pair of jeans they are the 90 straight ultra high rise um i got them in a size 32 i'm usually a size 32 in levi's and some run a little big on me and some are like the perfect like the ones with almost no stretch 32 is usually the way to go for me but I probably could size down to a 31 on anything that has a little bit of elastic but because Abercrombie um, I hear just has a tiny bit of stretch I got a 32 just to be safe just so we can try it on and hope that it like actually works for us made well for instance I would be probably like a 30 or 31 um, but then again everything is just crazy and no one really knows their size right that's literally my life so I'm gonna give these a try all right I think I'm liking these they're actually extremely comfortable I don't know if you guys need me to be like lower for this but I'm liking I'm liking them I've changed the angle just so you guys can get a better idea of what this looks like. I've also changed my top because I felt like the black and like there being a, um, you know, it being one of those things that only button up here was kind of distracting from the jeans. Yes, this is orange, but I feel like it flows better with the denim. I just want to share, I actually am obsessed with this. I've also put on some booties, um, but this right here, these are the jeans. I love how they're looking. They, I do want to say that they're also extremely comfortable. Um, I feel like I could eat, like I could eat a lot in this. <laughs> or I feel like I can go to like all you can eat sushi and be 1000% okay because of the amount of stretch. Maybe you guys can see better here that these jeans have. Um, I don't want to say that they're like the stretchiest jeans of all time. They're definitely not. But compared to like some Levi's jeans that I have, they feel a little stretchier. Um, I, I mean, I still don't really recommend sizing down though. I love the way it looks with this shirt. I like want to wear this today. I'm pretty sure this is going to be my outfit for the day. I've been obsessed with orange, especially this cardigan, as you guys know. But yeah it's cute so right now i have these being cuffed at the bottom i think i like it cuffed way more than i like it just like down i'm gonna share how it looks when it's just like down um in a little i do love this i am absolutely obsessed with this crisscross moment that's happening um but yeah let me share what this would look like oh I also want to say that I got it in 32 short um, so and I'm not exactly the shortest person I'm 5'4 so I'm pretty average I feel like it's the cusp of short and the cusp of a regular height or an average height I guess um, but this is what it looks like when it's just yeah when it's just down and it feels long to me um, so I recommend if you are 5'4 or below to get short. I even think 5'5 five five, this would work really well for you. I was gonna say I actually really like it like this too. Um, um, but I like it cropped as well for like another little moment. Definitely comfy, definitely has extra room over here. Um, if you do have a smaller waist though, I do recommend I guess I don't know if, yeah actually if you have a smaller waist I do recommend the curve because um, it might be too large on you in this sense right here all right I do have a dress but I feel like that'll come a little after I'm gonna share 
these shorts next because I hear that the shorts are also amazing. So this one is called the Mom Short High Rise and I got this one in a size 33 um, just because I wanted to size up from my size 32. I was nervous that these are going to essentially be too small. They actually look pretty big though. Um, for me looking at them right now but at the same time i always like think that and they're like perfect or something but we shall see so that it's equivalent to actually a size 16. yeah and i i just read online that the mom short is like runs a little smaller so i'm just gonna try it on and see if it works <laughs> this is supposed to be almost no stretch too i'm pretty sure it was like 99 percent um cotton and one percent one percent elastane what i read online these feel instantly too big it is the sad thing they're so cute i feel like if i were to have gotten my size it probably would have been good but they're cute right like they're so freaking cute they're giving what i wanted them to give like they're Oh yeah, they are very nice. I like that they even give me room here, like so much room. And this isn't even the curve. There you go, that's a better dictator, I guess. Dictator? Indicator. God, dictator, what am I saying? They actually feel kind of stretchy to me. Um, I would say keep your size and I think you'll be happy with it. Okay, so going on to the other pair of shorts that i bought they are these white ones i've been looking for like nice white shorts i think that i would just be obsessed with them but this one is the dad short high rise um in curve love so this is i think one of the only things that i got in the curve love line i guess i got them because i wanted to make sure that the shorts that i got at least one of them had enough thigh room which I feel like with these I had enough thigh room so I don't know how these are gonna look but on the plus side I did get these on I did get these in a size 32 which brings us back to like the denim that I've been getting from Amber Crombie this round I guess um so this is nice so this is technically I guess this size 14 so let's see how this goes um around I do want to say that <sighs> this one has the um button fly which i think is super cute i know some people don't like that so just bringing that up but it's okay let's try these on and hopefully they fit a lot better than these okay i'm not struggling is the good thing all right these are definitely tighter here oh my god wait do i like these do i like these um i don't think i like these well do i like very confused i'm not sure if i like these i i do but i also i'm not positive so these are the curve love first of all the 32 fits perfectly on me perfectly like this is incredible um the curve love jean i mean shorts i will say gives you a thousand percent more room here on the thighs um, but it kind of looks off, I think, on me. I'm not, I'm not sure if it looks good. Guys, I would never get chub rub on these. Oh my god. I'm sorry, this is amazing. <laughs> I feel so covered. I feel so good. Like, I feel like they're watching out for me when I wear these, though. I think I should get them in, in like, not the curve size. But at the same time, shook okay i just want to say these pockets are pretty big i'm gonna reorder the things that don't work out to so like the shorts and potentially these white shorts because last time i was on abercrombie site ordering these clothes i saw so many things that i liked but some of it were out of stock so i'm gonna see if any of those things are back in stock anyway um yeah, again, cute, but I want to give the straight size or the non-curved love size a try. Next, we've got some linen pants. 
So I'm super excited about these. I've been wanting a pair of linen pants for the longest time but every time I go I can't find a good one like I feel like I, they just don't work for me I feel very restricted or they're too tight around here or they give a weird bulge here I don't know it's just not been working out for me but I've been wanting a pair of these so I'm gonna give these a try this is all I've ever wanted like why can't everything be this easy is my thing I just want to say that everything hits me at the right spot I feel like everything has just worked. I also want to say that the Air Force Ones are literally perfect. They're very close to touching the floor. Very close. But they're actually working. Oh my god. I feel so cute. I'm sorry. I feel so cute. I'm so happy. These are so cute. I'm starting to sweat now though with this sweater. I want to cry. I'm so happy. Absolutely incredible i am so happy right now i think these are my favorite the fav the best thing i've gotten today or that i've tried on today i think these are going to be a staple for the spring and summer i can't believe this moment for me right now this is just gonna this is gonna be a staple for the spring and summer. I know it, I'm gonna wear these way too often. You guys are gonna get sick and tired of seeing these. All right, so I think that these pants would also look really good with this shirt. So I'm just gonna give it a go. And this is in a size large and it is a soft Abercrombie and Fit rib um, shirt. So it's really cute. I love the color and little stripes so and I, I do like the style I've been looking for more styles like these and I hope that it works all right what is it giving do we like it I think I like it huge fan of this combo though I think I would need a little bra it's not really holding up my boobs like some do cute For the last thing, I did pick up a dress. I wanted to make sure that I picked up a dress because I wanted to see just the quality and how everything essentially looked. I can't tell what's happening here though. I don't understand, okay. This is the color that I got. It's like a little floral pattern. It feels nice, it feels pretty, feels pretty nice and it's double lined. We love a double lined dress. Yeah, let's give this a try. So far, everything that I'm trying on, I've been obsessed with. Also, just to mention that the quality of things are pretty nice. Yeah, even this is really good. Though I wouldn't say it's like, for instance, I've touched those Aritzia like tops like this. Those are thick. It's not as thick. I would compare this to like as thick as like a Zara shirt, if that makes any sense. That's it. Let's try this one. <laughs> Starting to try this on, just want to let you guys know that they do have adjustable straps. So that's going to be helpful, probably in holding up the girls. The moment of truth is always, will it actually zip up on me? I have a wider rib cage. So even if I'm a size large, sometimes I have to size up anyway because I have a larger rib cage, I feel like, than most people. Uh -huh. Cute. Don't know if I'll be keeping it. I feel so dirty, flirty, and thriving in this dress. I don't know if I would keep this dress. I feel like it's not as comfy for me though. I feel like anyone else that's a normal size large and doesn't have that big of a rib cage, it's gonna look amazing regardless. I think comfort wise, it's gonna be way better on you than it is on me. But I will say that I am obsessed with the way it looks. I think it's very cute. I don't know if I like the specific one. It's a little tight on me. It's my ass showing. I apologize. Bringing that down. Um, I'm sweating mostly because I've been moving around a lot and also because it's just so hot in here. Yeah, I have no AC on right now because I didn't want like the noise to disturb as usual. Um, but so I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was quite fun. I love, I 
love reviewing clothes and I love I love hauls and obviously I don't keep everything it's not like one of those things that happen because some of the things just don't work out and some of the things I feel like I don't need even if I like them yeah I really I really like these I hope you guys really enjoy these too also I know that Abercrombie is a little bit more expensive than like your H&M yours I would say it's like similar pricing to Zara but I do want to say that Abercrombie does have a lot of really good sales um I waited for a sale to pick these things up and um, I got 15% off of everything, which ended up saving me quite a bit of money. So hopefully wait for a sale or don't wait at the same time. I know that's like kind of polar opposites. Wait because of this. But um, if you wait for that sale, there is like a slight chance that you won't get everything because it might be out of stock. Um, so if you see something and you really want to try it, I do recommend just going in and buying it even if it isn't 15% off. Um, but if you can hold off and wait for the right time, then get yourself that 15% girl or guy or bro or non-binary human. Um, I love you all. <laughs> yeah. Let me know your thoughts on today's moment. I'm really hot right now. I need some water. <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys next week. Don't forget to subscribe, please.